what is the biggest problem you see in the world today and what would you begin to do to try and solve it? The biggest problem in the world. Oh yeah. my God. It can be, Ambushed. I mean, it could be like in the media space or just anything in general. Yeah. The biggest problem in the world is not podcast discoverability. I'll tell you that. <laughs> to some Quite a shift. Yeah. We, we didn't ask in your world, you know. Yeah. No. That would, be, world. That, that would be it. Honestly, God, it's like. Putting you on the spot here, I know. Is it environmental? I mean, I'm not even qualified to answer this question. I mean, I think you are because it's asking maybe, for a personal maybe with, opinion. Yeah, maybe your personal experiences, um, you know, you're not, oh, no man. one's going to think you're the, entitled. The problem is entrenched money in the political space Ooh, because that this. that's one of those like, <laughs> like people go, what? How can you say it's the, how can you not say it's the environment? Okay, well, if we didn't have entrenched political interests from oil companies, you don't think we'd have electric cars? When I, I'm from Detroit, we used to have a great mass transit train system. Guess what? General Motors or something like that bought it, ripped it out so that people had to buy effing cars. Hmm. Give me a break. Now we have like eight lane roads in Michigan so people can drive up and down Woodward, <laughs> which is the you know first highway. Who decides all that? It's just like the auto companies. That's the problem. Yeah. If you go to countries where they don't have this, they have mass transit, high taxes on cars because people don't need them. You'd rather ride on the train because it's fast, easy, clean, and gets you exactly where you want to go. And the environment is cleaner. Here, everybody – think about this. Everyone is riding essentially a glorified lawnmower with air conditioning by themselves to work every single day and parking it. Yeah. And they're burning – fossil fuels doing it because god forbid we should subsidize electric cars and get people to run on the same grid and and get a good economy god forbid of we scale. reduce traffic you know like yeah god. I mean, it's absolutely insane and that's that's entrenched money in politics so you have those environmental concerns you have those infrastructure concerns and then it's like oh what about education for everybody you don't think we would have free universal education or health care if we didn't have lobbyists going, well, we can't have universal health care. We'll end up like we'll end up like Sweden where everybody's healthy and lives longer. Oh well I mean uh we'll ever we'll end up like Canada. Oh where everyone's healthier and lives longer. I mean we'll end up like you know just like yeah. the, show me a country that has properly administered socialized health care and and I will then give me one good reason why we don't have that other than we set it up so that people can really get pro. There's absolutely no reason. Who was telling me this the other day? Somebody who was telling me this. They they have a bill from the hospital. It was oh, it's a friend of the family. She got rear-ended by somebody and she's not injured, but she has a twenty thousand dollar hospital bill. How is that possible? The ambulance ride was like eighteen hundred dollars. I mean, give me a break. Yeah, it's really bad. It's insane. Costs are insane yeah. And and it's criminal because my health insurance, I am healthy AF, mm. okay? And I'm 38. Mm. I had to think about that. Maybe I'm not that healthy. <laughs> maybe have maybe there's something Early I should have that started. checked out. Yeah. I should have that checked out. So, I I my health insurance is $600 a month. And my I don't I don't have the kind where I can show up and get a massage, yeah. right? This is basic health insurance. $600 a month. There are tons of people that make about three times that much, and they have kids. So the one third of their income goes to like basic health insurance. God forbid they live in a city like LA or San Francisco. Oh my gosh. And it. God forbid they get rear ended and not injured and end up with a $20,000 bill, and their insurance pays for like 4000 of it, and the rest of it's on them. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're screwed. It, that's why you hear in no other country in the world do you get cancer or not even cancer and you lose your house and your kids can't go to college. It's absolutely it's ridiculous. And it's because of – partially because of entrenched money in politics. All of these big problems that we're having in our country yeah. slash uh, the rest of – uh, the world, a lot of it is caused by. Now you see a lot of private companies coming out and trying to disrupt the space where it's like, yeah. give us your money, don't give you know the, yeah. the insurance companies the money. Yeah, and, and hopefully that, that and that's only unfortunately that's the only way we're going to solve this. We're going to so end up with some sort of technological insurance solution that that takes advantage and well, puts I mean, all these other companies like out of business. Like forward, forward and, and all. Yeah. So are you saying that we need to overturn Citizens United? Uh, that is, yeah, that is the. Essentially, yeah, the, I, yeah, what puts I'm, the money in politics definitely. and all these interest groups and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's that, that's obscene. That that decision is obscene, and and there's a lot there's a lot to that. But yeah, I would say so. I w I would say that's one of those things where it's like I just can't believe that I just can't even believe that we live in in a time like this. As someone who's so passionate as you about these types of topics, do you ever see yourself being involved 
in a political you no. know, world? No, I think I'm just smart enough to know that I don't know the answers to things like that. And there are people that are extremely qualified, much, they're very, they're very passionate. They have boundless energy and they're more patient than me. Because I think you, in order to really crush something like this, you have to be willing to, you have to be like a Cory Booker type who's like willing to sit in that system patiently, grinding away at it. And I would be like, you're all idiots. Do it my way. Oh, you're not going to do that? Well, I give up. I tried, guys. Sorry. Like, I just can't, like, I don't have the patience for You don't it. like the politics of I don't, politics. I don't have the patience. Yeah, no, you need, you need somebody, you need people who are going to go in that system and just be like, this is a bunch of BS. We're not doing this anymore. Yeah. 